This might look like an ordinary apple tree, but in fact this is a wild relative of the apple that we know. Apples are, were domesticated in Asia and their wild relatives are distributed across from Asia through to Europe. And the wild relatives, um, they might have fruit that's quite small and quite sharp and tasteless, but actually they've got a huge amount of genetic diversity, much wider diversity than is in our crops today. This uh, crab apple here might have the potential to resist a particular fungal disease, for instance, and might be useful in a breeding program for apple. It may show tolerance to particular drought conditions, something that we think we may encounter more in the future. I can see several wild apple trees here, and each of those may contain a different trait, a different quality that uh, we can breed into our apple crops. That resilience and that diversity is going to allow us to keep eating apples. This is an apple that we know today and these are apples from this wild relative. You can see in size they're very different. So how did we get from here to here? What happened is that people selected for the most tastiest apples in the forest, the biggest apples, and they bought those and grew those and then they used those best plants to breed from and over time our apples have improved and increased in size from this to this. We've selected a small number of species of apples to go forward and the genetic diversity, even though we can get lots of different varieties of apples, is actually very limiting. So to combat some of the diseases and in fact to increase and to continue to improve the taste of our apples, we need to go back to their roots, back to the crop wild relatives. So who knows, the apples we might be eating and buying from the supermarket in 20 years time might have crop wild relative material in them that's helping them to combat a particular disease. So some crop wild relatives are edible and I'm going to have a go at eating one of these crab apples to see how delightful it tastes. Ooh, that is very tart. <laughs> very sour. It's definitely an apple taste in the background, but you wouldn't want to be eating that every day. 